What's up guys? I um, In this video I'm going to be uh, doing finished grinds on uh, a bunch of knives. Uh, these are all hollow. I have a compound one that I, I'll throw. I'll try to do a video on too of me grinding. These have already been heat treated obviously and then I've gone at them with a 60 grit Norton ceramic belt after heat treatment. After heat treatment, there's no speeds that are done. Uh, so it's nothing over 30% uh, of the speed of my grinder. It's all under 30, and that's to keep it nice and cool. And then I'll obviously I'll dunk it in the water uh, pretty frequently. So uh, for the sake of the video, I'm not wearing a respirator, but usually I would wear a respirator and obviously I recommend wearing a respirator when doing this. So yeah, here we go. Those are the uh, finished grinds. I uh, still need to go over it with a conditioning belt. But that's. This camera really isn't good. Let's see if I can put it back here. Like that. This is all done by eye, obviously, freehand. So there's always going to be some imperfections. I don't think I can focus on that. That's the best I can get on that. But yeah, so it's all freehand. And, and you know, I, I don't do it to a super fine grit, so it's not as harsh as, you know, if you were taking it to... You know, even uh, 220 on a normal belt. The tri act is very forgiving. So, that one's ready for conditioning, a uh, conditioning belt. Next, I will do a compound grind, just to throw in something a little harder. I've got two compound grinds on this, this batch of knives. Uh, so, let me zoom in to here. Yeah, I definitely need to get a camera cut out there a little bit. Um, 
I definitely need to get a camera that has auto zoom. But uh, yeah, so here we go on this guy. Again, under 30 uh, speed. Still needs um, the conditioning belt, but these are the finish grinds on this compound grind, ground knife. Actually didn't check the plunge. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, and I'll, I'll do one more compound grind before this video is going to be pretty long, but I just wanted to uh, show you this part of it because I usually cut it out because it's long and boring. Uh, so there's another compound ground knife, javelin motto with the tanto tip. Um, and it's going to get its... Uh, what is this? 80 grit equivalent Trizac belt.
guys done. The, uh, for how narrow this blade is, this wheel isn't as small as it should be. So, I'm just making excuses for myself, but that's why there's like, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on this. Oh. That's why there's like those flares basically, and that's because there isn't so much of a difference between this bevel and that one. So this one should be a lot deeper and that one shouldn't be as deep. So technically I should have the, you know, the two wheels, the small to do this and then the large to do that. And that would most likely uh, get rid of those like lines that cross over, that fray over. So yeah. Definitely need to get that in once I get to the new shop. I think the plunges too. So yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video.